Welcome, Texas Gunsmith back. And we're back with part four, I believe, of our South Bend number 2H turret lathe restoration. So we got the turret slide and the turret head done. Uh, what I'm, I, I'm kind of playing this by ear. What I'm thinking I'd really like to do is strip the bulk of the machine down and build up the legs, the base, and the bed. And then this is this way as I finish pieces, I can uh, kind of hang them on a finished product instead of just stacking them up. But I'm kind of playing it by ear. Uh, right now we're going to start stripping the, uh, the rear apron here in this assembly and see how we do. I kind of got started somewhat. Uh, I took this four bolt lower plate off. And I can see these gears. Uh, the plate holds these on something like a uh, there's something like a thrust washer on the inside of the plate there that holds these sections on here they I could slip them right off if I want and then after that I removed the uh, the big four spoke handle which uh, I, I refinished that already I'll show you in a sec this is it here and in cleaning it up, I found a couple interesting things. I guess when they build it, they stamped each each one with a dot to match the handle. I thought that was interesting. And I couldn't see it before, but it says clutch adjustment was stamped in there. I highlighted it in yellow. Now, to get it off, there was a star nut in there. And uh, it works somewhat like a ratcheting mechanism, I guess, for adjusting the clutch. i I, I got to figure that out totally yet. But uh, there's a plug that goes here. And what you do is you drop a ball down the uh, down that hole, and it sits in the teeth, and then a spring, and then you run the uh, plug down, and that'll keep this ratcheting. At, you know, depending on how tight or loose you need to go. So we removed the plug, the spring, and the ball. We got the nut off, and it's also keyed on the shaft, which you can maybe see through there a little bit uh, we needed a hammer to knock this off the shaft this shaft here we had to knock it off with a hammer we, it, it don't just slip on there it's on there pretty snug so we got that knocked off uh, we're gonna work on trying to uh, get this apron off off of our main uh, screw here and uh, we'll see how things go now, right now, I'm doing some guesswork and some exploratory surgery, if you will. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take the three bolts off here and see what we got going inside, as well as our three bolts here. I'm going to do that as well as I'm going to knock this handle off. To do that, it looks like we have a taper pin holding the handle to the shaft. So we're going to knock the taper pin off. And I don't want the weight of the apron on the screw. So I don't want to bend the screw or anything like that. So I think I'm going to put blocks of wood in the chip pan to, to uh, hold up some weight on that. And then I'll work on taking the, the six bolts out and see what else I can see going on. And uh, we'll take it from there. All right, we made some progress. Uh, was a taper pin with the small part of the taper uh, at the bottom so you need to drive the pin out this way at least on mine it was that way and we pulled our caps off of both sides and looking at the caps uh, they got it looks like they're a thrust washer of some sort as well uh, which mount up against a, a collar that rides on this uh, uh, on the threads here of the screw. Uh, I'll need a light to get inside to show you, but we have the same thing on both caps. So I'm hoping the this the housing will be able to slip off with that uh, with that collar staying on the threads. Maybe it can come off. In the meantime, we got our bolts out. We have long bolts here and here 
which ride up into that portion there. Uh, this was a nut with a spring. We took that off. Uh, and I needed a hammer and chisel to start to split the case. And it's going. Uh, we're, we're, there are dowel pins, so I don't know if the dowel pins are going to come with the cover or uh, stay in the housing. I'm not sure. But uh, we need to slide off of this shaft. The shaft runs all the way through the apron and into here and, and to this gear. So I'm expecting that to stay because we ain't going to be able to pull the gear through, through this iron. So we're going to uh, keep working this cover off and see what we got. Alright, there's a band type spring going around that shaft of that handle I took off. And it's connected on the other side. I'll come around and show you here. If we can see it. It's connected down on that pin. So we want to get that off so we don't wreck the spring. And the dowels are coming with the uh, lid, or the cover, I should say. And also this shaft also. I don't know what that shaft does yet still working that out all right that spring is held on this side of the pin <clears throat> that pin don't want to move and i can't seem to get it unhooked or off of the pin one thing i'm thinking that looks like it's going to work is unwinding the spring spring by turning the shaft and by doing that it looks like we have it unhooked off of the shaft now so we're going to continue pulling the cover Alright, the cover came off as we were going. The shaft started coming with it, so uh, I watched and was careful, you know, not to drop this gear. I just kind of let it fall to the side as we came out with the shaft. And this is what we look like on the inside. I don't know if that's an oil pump in there or what, with that uh, copper tube coming up to this this gear. So, at any rate, we're going to work on the, continuing to try and get this apart. We went ahead and slipped uh, the two gears and and the uh, that one round piece off of this shaft off of that. These are still in place. I don't really have too much up and down play, so I'm pretty happy with that and we uh slipped that the gear out of here uh it looks like this is a collar on the shaft i'm going to work on trying to get off and it's spring loaded too i guess for the uh clutch assembly to work how it's how it should so we're going to see about getting this apart all right we got this we had to take a file and clean where the keyway was it must have must have uh, mushroomed up just a little bit so we got that with that off you can see we have a, a rounded roller type bearing race roller bearings we'll keep that together this part here yeah, it's really awesome working one-handed <laughs> Looks like we have a another similar type bearing on the other side. Looks 
looks like we're going to come off pretty nice. Voila. noise we just heard was this popping out of here apparently there's two uh, little spring-loaded deals here we'll take a look at that brass that brass gear yeah, uh, this portion of the gear is uh, tapered uh, I'm guessing it works just like a synchronizer in a, in a uh, standard transmission so and it must uh, lock on to the, the taper there um, we'll go ahead and continue on. Alright, having a look at a few things here. This here does move. So, with these caps off, I'm thinking that I can slip the whole case of the apron down off of the, off of the uh, screw here once I drop that out of the way. Uh, the case is also up on dowels, so even with the bolts out, uh, we're still pretty secure to that section there. And the other two things is, this is on a keyway, we can see there, and getting some heel bars behind it, it's not coming off easily. Uh, I didn't get it to move, as a matter of fact, and I don't want to really force anything yet. So, I'm thinking another option is if we come up here, we had a plate with two screws uh, that fit into the shaft here. And with this gear, the shaft comes all the way through. The gear has a taper pin that holds it. So... I'm hoping if I knock the taper pin out, it's also keyweighed, but I'm, I'm hoping if I knock the taper pin out, maybe I can start driving the uh, shaft out this way, straight through the apron, uh, straight through the apron case. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, this is the way to go. We got the taper pin knocked out, and it was in there really serious, but uh, we're coming out nicely. I started tapping, and you can see we're sliding. So if you don't want the gear to drop, I would hold on to it and pull the shaft out the rest of the way. We're going to do that. Uh, we also got a wick of sorts going into this hole. I'm guessing to feed the screw. Wraps around here and uh, feeds into this hole too, I guess for lube, lubricating the shaft. I would guess when the gearbox is filled up with oil and it's splashing around that it uh, wets our wick here. All right, we went ahead and dropped this off and pulled the uh, end cap off from the apron housing there. And we used a hammer and hit the case here to get off the dowels. And now that we're off, uh, I think we're gonna work on sliding this off out of the way and then see if we can't slide the apron housing down off of the screw here. All right, that did the trick. We got it off. I went ahead and put this back up just to keep this screw from sagging down. One curious thing, I, I found a screw had worked its way loose and is bent. The apron must have been hung up on it or something there. Uh, that's because that screw's bent and I don't think it would have came off uh, unless I disassembled it the way I did. So we'll take care of that. And uh I think we're going to continue on and, and work towards stripping down the rest of the machine. See how it goes. Thanks for watching. Texas Gunsmith out.